I've had the Red Sea Reef Map 500 for just over a month now, so today I'm going to give you a full review and tell you everything you need to know about it. Spoiler alert, it is a fantastic piece of kit. Now this was given to me for free by Red Sea, so a big thanks to them. And if you want more reefing videos and product reviews, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out when I upload. Now there are plenty of unboxing videos online, so I won't bore you with another one, but suffice it to say you get everything in the box that you would expect to see, including your first roll for free. The unit comes pre-built, so there's no real assembly required. All you need to do is fit the motor, which you can do on either side, whichever is convenient for you, then install the water level sensor, and you're pretty much done. Now I should say that most Red Sea reefer owners will have their reef mat set up at the front of the tank, which is where the downpipes are. My tank is a Red Sea Reefer Peninsula 500 though, and because I chose to have the doors opening on the left hand side, that means I have to install the reef mat on the far corner. So it's a bit of an unusual setup, and it is much easier to install on pretty much all Red Sea tanks, but installation was still pretty easy. And the other thing unusual about my tank is that I recently upgraded the Red Sea diaphragm valve to a gate valve. Now normally after the diaphragm valve, you just have a straight pipe, but on my setup I have a hose tail. So that means I had to do a real janky workaround to connect it, but again most people will have just a hard pipe there, so it will be much easier. Installing it took me about 45 minutes, including time for filming and a bit of messing around. However, if you have the standard Red Sea plumbing and it's going at the front of your tank, setup will take less than 5 minutes and looks an absolute piece of cake. On a standard install, all you'll need to do is hang the reef mat on the sump, connect the hose to the downpipe, and you're done. And Red Sea have made a video showing you exactly how to do that, which I'll link in the description below. Once the reef mat is in the sump, you then go into the app to complete setup. You first connect to your reef mat's Wi-Fi hotspot and enter your home Wi-Fi password. Then it will download the latest firmware and connection is complete. It will then run you through a few setup options, so you'll need to name your device, select whether you have the 500 or the larger 1200, tell it whether the motor is on the left or the right hand side, and tell it how much notice you want before the roll runs out, with the options being between 1 and 15 days. Then you tell it whether you're using a partial roll or more likely a brand new 28 meter roll, and you're done. All in all setup was really easy and the only fiddly part of my tank was my stupid janky plumbing setup. And there's nothing worse in life than a bad user experience with an app, so it's great that it's nice and easy to use and you can get started straight away. Setup and install was easy enough then, but what about the features? Well it has absolutely millions of them, seriously. Now as I said most people will hang these on the front of their sumps and the hanging hook allows for 20mm of space which will be absolutely fine for pretty much everybody. However if for whatever reason you can't hang it on the edge of the sump you can simply attach the legs like I've done and have it freestanding anywhere in your sump. Now because I've already had an automatic filter roller in my sump for the last 3 years I didn't have to remove the filter sock section in order to install this. Now when I did remove the filter sock section it was a complete pain in the backside but Red Sea say they've made this much much easier with a special battle removal tool. Now of course I didn't get to use it this time but from what I can see it looks like a really good bit of kit. The blade is extremely thin yet pretty strong and that is exactly what you need to get in between the silicon and if you've ordered a generation 2 Red Sea reefer you can simply slide the filter sock section out with no need to do any baffle removal. The next feature relates to ease of maintenance. You can remove the entirety of the top half simply by pushing in two clips either side of the unit and lifting it up. And the black wheels either side of the unit simply clip out and they are the parts that are most likely to get dirty so you can easily run them under the tap then put them back in a unit. The other part that's likely to get dirty is the quick change mechanism and again that comes apart really easily so maintenance should be nice and simple. And speaking of the roll change mechanism it is absolutely fantastic and makes switching over to a new roll a breeze. Even with an awkward setup like mine where I have to reach into the back of the sump, the change was easy enough and only took a couple of minutes and I've made an unedited video of the full process on the Reef Talk Extra channel which I'll link in the top corner of the screen. The next feature also relates to the roll change as you no longer have to worry about catching the end of the roll. On both of my other filter rollers, the Clarity SK3000 and the Innovitech X-Filter 1.0, if the roll goes all the way through and you don't catch it in time, you have to thread the new roll through a series of loops which is a total pain in the backside. And because it's such a faff, what I do instead is staple the new roll to the end of the old roll and then just let it pull through. But that means checking all the time when you get to the end of the roll and it's a bit of a faff. But with the Red Sea Quick Change mechanism, it doesn't matter if you catch the end of the roll or not, changing it over is just as easy. And next up it has a filter media tray that slots in underneath the unit itself. 
Now you could probably put more or less any filter media in there, but the most popular options will be activated carbon to polish your water and Rofos or GFO to remove phosphates. And because the water passing into the media tray has been pre-cleaned by the roll, in theory whatever media you use will have less work to do because it's getting nice clean water. Although because my reef mat is at the back of my sump, it makes access to the under tray a little bit difficult, so I've not actually been able to test it out myself. But switching it out will be really easy for those of you with a typical install at the front of your sump. And if you do use the media tray for either activated carbon or rhyophos, it will mean you need one less reactor in your sump, which is a nice little space saver, and will mean you need one less pump. Because the water level sensor is an electric conductivity sensor, it knows when you've turned your return pump off and when salt water is touching both sides, which means it won't keep rolling when you turn your return pumps off. And then we come on to the app. Firstly, it gives you data in the form of daily usage with a weekly or monthly graph, and it also has a day-to-day -day log that shows how much you've used each day, and you even get a breakdown hour to hour. And you can set the amount your roll advances when it gets clogged from half a centimeter all the way through to 40 centimeters. That way it can either advance little and often or pull through an entire fresh roll all at once. I have mine set to five centimeters or two inches and it tends to advance maybe once or twice an hour. So effectively you can choose how often you want to hear the motor turning. And even beyond that, you can set it to advance an even longer length of roll if you want several hours of silence. For example, you could set it to advance four hours worth of roll when you get home from work, so you won't hear it while you're watching TV. And the app gives you end of roll monitoring, which shows green when you have loads left, amber when you're running out, and red when it needs replacing. It will also send you a notification between one and 15 days before the roll ends, so you can order a new roll in good time. I set my alert to just one day, and I found the roll lasted a few days longer before running out. And it turns out my first roll was 29 meters, not the 28 meters red sea say you get, and I'm not complaining at the extra one meter of free roll. And finally, because it has two motors, it will know if there's ever a jam and will turn off the motors so they don't burn out. And of course the app will give you a notification so you can go and fix the jam. So it's fair to say it has extensive features, but how have I actually found living with it? Well, first up, the water clarity since I've installed it is absolutely insane. When I came downstairs the day after installing it, the water was so clear that I had to go and check if I'd changed the activated carbon the day before, which it turns out I hadn't, so the reef mat does a brilliant job of polishing water, particularly given I've already had an automatic filter running on my sump for the last three years. Now I don't know if that will last long term, but if it does, I will absolutely love this thing because my water has never looked clearer. And the features I've mentioned are way beyond my expectations of an automatic filter roller. They're really well thought out, really useful and make the equipment easy to use and maintain. The quick change mechanism is better than any other roll amount on the market and the data the app gives you isn't just a gimmick and I find it really interesting. Now my first roll lasted exactly one month of the day which isn't a particularly long period of time. However it's the exact same story with the other two filter rollers I've set up and I find they tend to last longer the more they've been in your sump and the more polished your water is. So as to how long it will last it's really a question of how long is a piece of string. I might expect around six to eight weeks but really I'm guessing and I'll have to report back when I do a long term review. But however long they last the replacement rolls are just 11 pounds so they're dirt cheap. At 300 pounds in the UK, it also represents really good value for money. Now don't get me wrong, 300 pounds is still a lot of money for a filter roller, but I've always felt automatic filter rollers are priced high, and this makes the competition look unnecessarily expensive given how basic they are by comparison. But as with everything in life, it is not all sunshine and roses, and there are a few cons. Firstly, I have the smaller unit, the ReefMap 500, and it is absolutely massive. The unit itself takes up a lot of space, and while the corrugated tube means you can install it anywhere in your sump, it doesn't bend very tight, so the tube itself also takes up quite a lot of space. I would say it would be absolutely fine for tanks three feet or above, which means Red Sea Reefer 250 or larger. If you have a two foot tank, you might just about be okay, but it will take up pretty much all of your space in your sump, and anything smaller than that, and you're better off going for a Clarity SK3000, in my opinion. Next up, and the motor on the roller is quite noisy compared to the Clarity. Although, of course, you can set a quiet period in the app, so it's actually silent when you want it to be. But I haven't done that myself, because it's not so loud that the noise bothers me. And the last negative is that the end of my first roll was glued to the cardboard, which means the reef mat can't pull the roll all the way through. 
Now annoyingly I pulled the roll off the cardboard before I started filming so I can't show you what I mean. However it's not necessarily a big issue particularly given the app notifications but I did think it was worth mentioning. Now ultimately in my opinion an automatic filter roller is firmly in the want not need category of equipment but if you do want an automatic filter roller and you have the space in the sump I wouldn't buy anything else. If you've got any questions let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week and until next time happy reefing.